a particle moves along the graph with y equals tangent of x secant x, so that y is increasing at a rate of 3 units per second. Find the rate at which x is changing with respect to time when x is equal to pi over 4. Okay, so this is related rates. They give us our equation, and they give us some other stuff. So let's write what is given. Alright, what's given? The equation. So they give us the equation that relates y with x. What else do they tell us? y is increasing at a rate of 3 units per second. So it's increasing, so it's, there's a rate of change. So we know that dy in respect to time, so dt, dy dt is increased at 3 units, so this is 3 units per second. Okay, so we know dy dt. What else do we know? Find the rate at which x is changing, so we need to find dx dt. So this is what when x is equal to pi over 4. Alright, so we're given the equation, we're given dy dt, and we want to find dx dt when x is equal to pi over 4. So pretty much all this, this uh, sentence here, these two sentences, it's pretty much this is the important information you want to know. So write down, always write down what's given on your related rates problem. Now, Recall something, since we know we need to take uh, in, um, the derivative of both sides here, we need to take the derivative of y in respect to t, and the derivative of this in respect to t as well, we have to know the derivative of tangent and secant. So, really quick, I recall the derivative of tangent of x, just in case. We know tangent of x is sine over cosine. Using um, the quotient rule, I obtain this. Do a little simplification, we know that this is cosine squared plus sine squared, that's 1, from the Pythagorean identity. And we have 1 over cosine squared, that's the same thing as secant squared. So the root of tangent is secant squared. We'll need that. The root of secant x. Alright, so the root of secant x, we know secant is 1 over cosine x. Again, using the quotient rule, we obtain um, sine x divided by cosine squared x. But that can be um, uh, explained as 1 over cosine of x times sine of x divided by cosine of x. But we know 1 over cosine is secant, and we know sine over cosine is tangent. So the root of secant is secant tangent. Okay, so very important, we're going to use those right now. So we want to find d dt of y, and we also find d dt of this right here. Okay, so that's we have to take the root of y in respect to time and the root of tan x secant x in respect to time. So the root of this is pretty much dy dt. And that's equal to, well, we have to use the product rule here. So using the product rule, take the derivative of tangent of x first, but we already we already know what the derivative of tangent of x, so that's secant squared. So that's gonna be secant squared x times dx dt, because x is not t, so we need dx dt there. Um, times secant of x, because we're using the product rule, plus the root of secant, well, the root of secant, we know secant tangent, so that's secant of x, tangent of x, times dx dt, because again, x is not t, so we need to write that here, dx dt, times tangent of x. So we are using the product rule. Okay, so now we have dy dt is equal to all this, but let's do some simplification here. We have secant x, secant squared x here, so that's secant cubed, and we have dx dt here and dx dt in this term, so we can factor out dx dt, so we have secant cubed x, plus we have tangent and tangent, that's tangent squared, so that's secant x times tangent squared x. And we already said that dx dt, dx dt common factor, so you factor that out. And we want to factor it out because we want to find dx dt. So in the end, we do want to solve for dx dt. Alright, so now since this is factored out, 
we can go ahead and divide this whole term by secant cubed x plus secant x times tangent squared x. So divide those to both sides, and we'll have dy dt, all that divided by this, so we have secant cubed x plus secant x tangent x. And that's equal to what we want, dx dt. Alright, good. So we want dx dt. We have dy dt. They give it to us, 3 units per second. And we know x. x is pi over 4. So we just plug in pi over 4 in here, compute that, and we plug in through here. So then this implies that d x dt is equal to, alright, 3 here, 3 divided by secant of pi over 4, so secant cubed of pi over 4, plus secant of pi over 4, times tangent, um, was that, yeah, tangent squared, yes, tangent squared. That's tangent squared, so tangent squared of pi over 4. Okay, so now we have dx dt is equal to 3 divided by, now secant of pi over 4. So we know that, so yes, what's secant of pi over 4? It's the same thing as saying 1 over cosine pi over 4. I mean, a cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. So we have 2 square root of 2. Rationalizing this, we have 2 square root of 2 over 2. So this is square root of 2. So we have that this is square root of 2. And cubed, so we have square root of 2 cubed. Um, plus secant of power of 4 is square root of 2. So we have square root of 2. And then we have tangent squared of power of 4. But we know tangent of power of 4 is sine of power of 4 divided by cosine of power of 4. And sine of power of 4 is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of power of 4 is square root of 2 over 2. So we have square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. And that's 1. And 1 squared is just 1. So we have this. That's all we have left. Okay, let's do a little more simplification here. This is 3. Um, factor out the square root of 2. We can factor 1 out. Then we're left with square root of 2 squared plus 1. Okay, that's good. Square root of 2 squared is just 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have 3 square root of 2 times 3. But the 3's now cancel out, and we're left with 1 divided by the square root of 2. Now you can rationalize that, and it'll be square root of 2 over 2 as well if you want. So that's that. So we found what they wanted. They wanted to find, find the rate at which x is changing with respect to time when x equals 4. So we did find the change in x with respect to time when x equals a pi over 4, and we got, it was 1 divided by square root of 2. So that's the change, that's, that'd be units per second. So this is units per second. So 1 divided by square root of 2, units per second. Okay, that's that.